everybody welcome back to my channel today I have another stitch fix unboxing for you this is a maternity unboxing so I am going to go through everything I got try it on for you and see what I like for those of you who have never heard of stitch fix it is a styling service they don't just have maternity they have regular you know clothes kids clothes other different things um, so it is a styling service where you curate your style through quizzes and um, notes and preferences and then they send you five items you try everything on and then you keep what you want send back what you don't it's $20 styling fee and then the price of that box or I'm sorry the price of the styling fee will go towards the price of your box if you choose everything then you will get a discount and yeah I mean I can always find at least one thing I like so some boxes are better than others just kind of depends but I think over time they get to know your style more and more which is awesome so without further ado let's get started okay so for as always they start out by giving you a return package so this is the uh, return thing that you're supposed to give them to return anything you don't want so I'll hold on to that this is my little package here. It's in a brown um, packaging instead of normally it's white. So I wonder if they're switching up to like a more sustainable option or something. I'm not really sure. So we'll have to find out. All right, everything in here is kind of the information on your uh, stitch fix and then also the pricing. So I always save the pricing for last and then I go through the style card first. So just to get started on that. Um, and for you, those of you who don't know, I'm actually pregnant. I'm four and a half months pregnant, so this is a maternity specific box. I've gotten you know plenty of non-maternity ones as well. Hi Samantha, I hope that when this fix arrives at your doorstep, it brings a bright smile to your face. Let's check out what's inside your personal fix. As you head to the beach, stay comfortable and chic in the maternity shorts by Just Black. Add a simple maternity tank or tee and then use the Emery Park kimono to layer with. This can be worn as a beach cover-up too. Add the lace top by Pale Sky to the shorts to dress them up or try them with a slim pair of jeans. The breezy maxi dress by Nine Britain is a perfect, oh, I'm sorry, is perfect for days by the beach or try out the knit dress by French Grey when you head to dinner. Glam up with statement jewelry. Um, I would love to hear which pieces you are delighted by and where we can improve. Please leave lots of comments and feedbacks during your checkout. Until next time, Jessica. I think Jessica is a new stylist for me. Um, just so you guys know, I did ask for things. I'm going to the beach um, the week of 4th of July, so I wanted to get um, some stuff for that. So I will go ahead and get started on this and show you guys what I got. Oh, these are cute. All right, so it's just a pair of like pinstripey shorts, and then it has the belly band, um, which I'm still kind of growing into belly bands because I'm not fully you know, round yet, but I think that's pretty cool. Um, these are a Stitch Fix exclusive, and they are the Romeo, Just Black Romeo Maternity Cuff Short in Blue, and these are in a size 10. So these are really cute. I like these a lot, and I, these could be kind of an um, alternative to like regular shorts, which is cool. So I like those. Okay, so next up is the maternity dress. It's super stretchy. And it's kind of like that, it's not like a knit material, it's kind of like that spandexy material. And it is floral. You guys can see all of that. This is um, the, oh, this is another Stitch Fix exclusive, which are always cool. Where's the name of this guy? Okay. Oh, here we go. <laughs> um, Nine Britain Carly Maternity Off the Shoulder Maxi in Navy, and then this is in a large. So I'm usually between a medium and a large depending, but I feel like with um, my maternity, I always try to size up. So that's cute. Looking forward to that. Another floral, blue floral dress. I don't know if I'm having a boy or girl. We're keeping it a secret. So this is interesting. Um, this is, it's very soft. Another Stitch Fix exclusive. Wow. French gray Brielle maternity short sleeve fitted knit dress in light blue. And this is also in a large. Um, I don't know. I need to see this on sometimes. I don't, I don't know. I get weird about I'm very particular about my florals. So I'll have to see what that looks like. Here's another floral top. Oh, this is the kimono. This is super cute. This is the Emery Park Kaylee Open Kimono in pink. Um, this could be worn, yeah, like she said, as a um, beach cover-up, maternity, not maternity. So this is really cute. I like that a lot. 
And then lastly is a Daniel Rain Maternity Quinn Maternity Keyhole Lace Top in orange slash red. Um, so this is just kind of like a basic top. And then the back has like the laces. This is cute. And then I actually really like the color. This is like a nice color when you have a tan. So um, I like that. So we will go ahead and get started by trying everything on. And then we will see what I like and what I don't like. Okay, so first off, I have the kimono and the shorts. I'll start with the kimono. I like this kimono a lot. It's pink, which is nice. It's got the blue flowers, so it's good for someone who doesn't know the gender of their baby. I think it's a good length to wear. It's not too long, not too short. Um, if I was going to wear it as a bathing suit cover-up, it covers my bum. So overall, I really like this. And then these are the shorts. Um, they do come up pretty well with the, the um, what is this called, the belly band. So. I like them. They're fitted, but not too fitted, and then they fit at a good length, so I really like these. I don't think I'd wear this together, but I think overall these are a good short to have to kind of mix things up a little bit. So overall, win-win, good length, good size, happy with it. Next up, I have the top. I don't really love it. I feel like it's just not flattering. Um, the keyhole in the back has two buttons, and it was such a pain to get on, so and it's one of those ones you can't take the shirt off unless you button it on button it so i don't like that i just don't think it's flattering i do like the color but it's just not not doing anything for me so i don't know maybe it would look better with pants or like leggings but i don't know just not really my style i would say so overall i'm going to wash this out as a no i'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see the detailing here hopefully you can see that and then back okay next up we have the short sleeve floral dress i love the design of this it is so comfortable it doesn't have the ruching on the side as much as the other ones do that i noticed but most of these dresses have this kind of like gathering material here if you guys can see that i love the style of the dress love the cut i cannot decide how i feel about the floral and color pattern is this too dated is it cute i like really can't decide i am so picky about florals and it has to be the right cut color and design for it to be perfect so this was like a different color pattern i think i would like it better but i don't know with the craziness of the floral with the light blue and the cream i just don't know how i feel about it so um bump looks good in it i do have a lot of these types of dresses that i throw on um and one I do have is blue and white stripes, but I don't have like a floral like this. So let me know what you guys think. I'm kind of on the fence. Alrighty, last but not least is the maxi dress. I don't think I can fit this whole thing in the frame, so I'll show you guys in my full length mirror. But I really like this. It's super comfortable. Uh, I like the off the shoulder. I did just buy a dress from Target in this exact same style, but it's blue and white stripes. So that's unfortunate, but I mean, this is super comfortable. It would definitely grow more with me as I grow. It is cute. I like the pink and the blue. Again, gender neutral. Um, so overall, super cute. I will show you guys in my mirror so you can see the full effect. Okay, here is the full dress. Sorry, the lighting is terrible, but I really like this. What do you guys think? Cute? Let me know. All right, now that that is out of the way, let's get into prices. So again, I've already paid a $20 styling fee, so that money would go towards the price of the box. So that orange red pale sky Quinn maternity keyhole lace top in a medium, that's $64, which is cray cray for a top, so we will not be getting that. Um, the French gray, uh, the Brielle maternity short sleeve dress, that light blue dress, that's $54. Um, and that was in a large. Um, the kimono is a medium, and that was thirty-four dollars. The uh, shorts are a the Romeo maternity cuff short in blue. They're a size ten, and those are fifty-eight dollars. And then the um, maxi floral nine Britain Carly maternity dress that was in a large, and that is fifty-eight dollars. So that is a pricey box. The total is two hundred and sixty-eight dollars. Um, if you buy everything, this discount is $67, and then your order 
total comes to 201. Uh, then you take the uh, price of the styling fee out, and so then all together it'd be 181 six. Or I'm sorry, 181 dollars. So, um, if I kept everything, I probably would just keep the the maternity top and try to sell it online because it um it's you know 67 dollars and the price of the box is 64 dollars. But I don't know, so. Can you guys let me know what you think, if I should keep everything and then try to sell the top? Should I keep that blue maternity dress, um, the light blue one? I don't know. I just wasn't a huge fan, so I, I just don't know how I feel about it. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, if you do any type of uh, Stitch Fix uh, YouTubing, please leave your channel name below. I love to watch them. If you guys have any suggestions or any videos that you'd like to see, especially from a maternity standpoint, please let me know. Uh, but other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.